For this experiment, we are going to investigate how the num how does the number of coil around your electromagnet affect the number of paper clips attracted. So the variable change will be number of coils. This one uh, there are fifteen coils coiling call around this electromagnet. This one there's uh, there are thirty. 30 coils is more obviously right then this one is 60 coils much more okay so this is the variable change we are going to connect uh, four batteries to the electromagnet and then we see how many paper clips can be attracted and this one will be the variable measured and all the other things should be constant so variable change number of coils, variable measured number of paper clips and the number of in order for it to be a fair test the number of batteries here must be always the same so we are going to connect four batteries firstly to the 15 turns and see how many paper clips we can attract from this electro magnet okay nothing so it doesn't mean that you have electro uh you have an electromagnet definitely can attract something because the magnetic force may not be strong enough to attract any paper clip. So 15 coils, number of paper clip, zero. So we shall put a big zero here. So no paper clips being attracted by this electromagnet with 15 coils. Next we shall try 30 coils two paper clips attracted so we have two paper clip attracted with 30 coils two are you able to estimate or guess how many paper clip can be attracted by 60 coils okay let's try let's put this 30 away put the 15 away and now we coin to this we connect the four battery to the 60 coin 60 coins electromagnet whoa let's count how many we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the variable change will be number of coils and the variable measure will be number of paper clips attracted. So what we do is the conclusion will be we draw arrows of the same direction as the number of coils increases the number of paper clips attracted increases